Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this tutorial, we are going to add some of the fields to this candidate object. Now which fields make sense? So you want to capture the first name and the last name of the candidate. So that's why we have created these two fields and these are going to be the text field. And we are putting a limit of 50. So basically, usually the names are not 50 characters long, but just to be on the safe side, I did put it as 50. We also want to capture the phone number because we will use this phone field to uh, text him or basically to notify him or to call him if he's uh, applicable or if he's applying for the position and we think it's a suitable fit, then we will use this phone number to uh, call him. Email is, let's say we wanted to send some email communication to the candidate. We wanted to send the call interview details or a Zoom call invite and things of that nature. So we will use the email to um, to the candidate, the address of the candidate, the years of experience, so how many years of experience he has. So that field also makes sense for the candidate object. Then we will also go ahead and uh, uh, ask his for his uh, SSN number. We'll keep it as encrypted so that not everybody will be able to see it. Uh, education, what level of education he has. Does he have a PhD? Is he a master's, BA, BS, MBA, things of that nature. So we'll go ahead and create a pick list to capture his uh, education information and then if he is currently employed uh, we'll ask him for some question related to visas if he a US citizen do you need visas and these are the set of fields that we are going to create for the candidate object so what we're gonna do is we can use either the schema builder or we can create it through the object manager um, just to save some time we are going to create the field using the schema builder. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to the schema builder. Currently I have is the position object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select the candidate object from the list here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the candidate and now this is my candidate object. And uh, I'm going to just uncheck the position just to be safe that I by mistake do not add fields on the uh, position. So the first field that I'm looking to add is the first name. So I'm going to go ahead and look for a text field. And as you remember from the last tutorial is that once you add the fields to the schema builder, you have to manually add them to the page layout. So I'm going to go ahead and move the text data type and the field label. I'll call it as first name. And uh, this is going to be the field name and length. Let's say we're going to set it to 50. So only 50 characters can be added for the first name, which is more than enough. And uh, we're going to leave everything as it is. Hit the save button. So this is the first name field we have added. Now, similarly, I'm going to add another field, which is also going to be a text field. And this is going to be the last name. So that's another field. And this is also going to be at length of 50. Then hit the save button. So it's very fast to add fields to the schema builder. Now the next set of fields is phone and email. So the data type is also, there is a data type called phone. So I'm going to uh, move the phone and drop it here on the candidate object. And I'll call this as phone name also as the phone. And then do you want to make this field as required? Uh, if you want, you can check this checkbox hit the save button and then we will also ask the candidate to enter his email so I will call this field as the email field and then hit the save button now the next field that I'm going to add is the address related so street city state and zip code so I'm going to go ahead and uh, move the text field here and we'll call this as street length is let's say 50 hit the save similarly i'm going to add another text field to capture the city so i'm going to go ahead and call this as city length is also 50 um, hit save and then i also want to capture the date so i'm going to go ahead and uh, you can either make it as a pick list which has a list of all the states so i can go ahead and uh, choose the pick list option here and this one would be a state field and values would be Texas then we can say Colorado then we have is uh, California then we can say is uh, and then hit the save button so these are the states that I've added you can add whichever states you want 
and then the next one would be the country so the country i'm gonna go ahead and uh, use the text here and i'm gonna go ahead and uh, move the text data type and then i'll call it as the field is called country and then the length will create it as two characters or three let's say and the default values i'll put it as us so by default our, con our company is only located So I've selected the country here as the US. Uh, we needed a single quotes around it because it's a text field. So that's why it's US and um, the, with the quotes and then the length I've left it to three and then hit the save button. So we've created a country field as well. So these are some of the fields that we have created. And in the next tutorial, we'll go ahead and work on our remaining fields. Thank you and I'll see you in the next tutorial.